morning it's actually like 8 50 no it's like 8 55 i um my kids are gone to specials and we're doing an activity where we need fruit loops and i forgot to get the fruit loops last night so i am headed to the dollar store it's like right it's right around the corner from school like i gotta go down the street then turn turn uh right and then it's down the street from the school so i'm headed to the dollar store to get the fruit loops and then i'm just a little bit hungry myself so i might give me something i don't really want like i don't know you know how you don't want nothing but you hungry so it's like you need to eat something but you really don't want nothing to eat that's where i am currently so Hopefully this won't take long. I do have an hour break today. Oh, that sun is dreaming. It's so bright. I do have an hour break today, but uh, I'm not, I don't plan on be gone an hour because I still got like some stuff I need to do in my class. I just really just need to run over here to this dollar store and just leave. Like I don't need to be over here too long. But anyway, that's all that's been up. I'm trying to think. The activity that we're doing, we're, uh, we have uh, hearts, and they are uh, putting glue and cereal, Fruit Loops, inside their hearts. It's gonna be like a colorful heart for Valentine's Day, and we're gonna put something, like a cute little something on it, like a quote or a saying or something, just to make it nice and fun and festive. I'm really trying to do these um, thematic units, and I know, like, people swear by them and I think they're great but I keep finding myself finding things that I could use but they don't they, that's not in the thing I, I don't like I'm sorry if this is like dark but it's not like necessarily in the thing and so it keeps throwing me off because then I have to find something else to do or I have to tweak it to where it follows our thing and so that's what I'm dealing with currently right now but I mean, I don't want to give up. Is this too bright? This is way so bright. I don't want to give up on the themes. Anyway, let me get off because this is way so bright, and then I cannot see, and I feel like it is just a hot mess because like half of my face is dark, and the other. Then I hear the train. I hope I, I hope that I missed the train. So anyway, let me get off of here, and I will check back in. Bye. Okay, so I got these tootie fruities. More for the money. Honey. <laughs> but no, I got these because they were just easier to get. And I got two big bags of these, but I gave one to Miss Alexander. Because yesterday, um, she brought them and she gave me some of hers. So I just went ahead and gave her some of mine. And I definitely got a red one. Because the way kindergarten is set up you need you a red bull no you don't need a red bull let me take that back because i i know you know i need me a red bull i'm gonna say it like that anyway i'm trying to stop drinking them though honestly i really am well which i did stop drinking them but i started back and uh they can be a little addicting so that's why i, I don't drink them often but i did drink one today i am drinking one today just because I have, uh, I have a lot to do today in my class. I got to finish my reading logs. Like my students come to me one by one and actually read. And this is the book that we're reading now. Granted, all of them are on different levels. No student is pretty much on the same level. So keep that in mind. But the book for the class, because we are going over the letter X, um, is Max and Fox Fix a Box. And this is such an awesome book. It, it, I mean, all of the letters that we've been over are incorporated. Um, we do use Sax and Phonics. I love Sax and Phonics. Um, I mean, I just, I can't rant and rave enough about Sax and Phonics. I just, I hadn't, I hadn't found a, found an issue with it. Um, the only thing I will say is Sax and Phonics can move, um, a little bit fast. But they have so many, so many resources where you can slow it down. So yeah, it moves fast, but you can definitely slow it down. <laughs> anyway, I'm like all over the place. I already got my centers out. Let me show you the centers. So 
this week we are doing this and it came out really cute and my teammate thought of this and it was just such an awesome idea but i don't know why all this paper let me tell kindergartners don't put, put your papers up don't leave them in the baskets okay they basically fill up their heart with cereal they know not to eat this cereal yesterday they did i'm really proud of my kindergartners yesterday they did okay at this center is their writing center they have to read the sentence can y'all see this do you see the little red heart and they have to draw write the sentence three times and draw a picture to go with it for my high ones they are writing their own sentences on the back this is what the heart comes out a lot of kids didn't finish them and then we ran out of fruit loops yesterday but i did have um see she got too much who is this i don't know just extra anyway we ran out of fruit loops so i started doing cheerios cheerios but um they just love fruit loops because they're colorful and they're cooler so of course i went and got some more fruit loops and i want them to feel like they can't use the fruit loops so that's that one then over here we are doing this is our stick frames and they have to pull a card pull a stick and make their stick frame then they have to write their words down here and draw a picture in the middle now for my high ones i do let them draw a picture using the words on the back or write a sentence using the words on the back um this center right here is our math center and what we're going to try to start doing is doing more uh, in the morning we're doing reading language arts centers funny centers and in the evening doing math we just ain't gotten it far yet so why did he do so they're supposed to pull a card and these have word problems on them so bill eight takes six away they're supposed to bill eight using the block and take six away you can write the number in here but the problem i ran into and this is just me guys this is me the problem i'm running into is i have students who get the dry erase markers and they will write the answer on it or they might not write the answer on it. they'll draw on it their color on it whatever but then i don't have a record of if they actually did it if they actually know it where's my proof where is your work sample where's your recording sheet so what we did was we made recording sheets and they have to write the actual subtraction sentence in that uh in the square so this is how it goes and a lot of kindergartners i get it it's a lot for kindergarten some can do it some can't let's just be honest we, we know that but if we train them that they will they will get it if we train them so let me see that so this is what we do you get your recording sheet name I always go first first and last night you pull a card what's numbers on the back of this card 12 was well, backwards to y'all but it's 12 so you find a number 12 in your square that's the number 12 in your square you do your problem do your problem using your blocks you write the answer in number 12 and when I say write the answer you write the number sentence in number 12 so I know this is 12 your number sentence needs to go in 12 get it I know it's a lot of step for some kindergartners in it that's just the way we do it that's the way we have been doing it for our high ones our high ones can pretty much get it for the low ones we will let them write it in because that the second step to finding that number think okay what number is on the back okay let me find that number and let me find let me put it down here that is a bit much so if you can just do the word problem we'll work on the rest later we'll we'll work on the rest later but we need to make sure that you can do this word problem so that's our math center and my assistant spends a, the bulk of her time in one of the centers and this week it has been the math center because those are a lot of steps like, i'm not gonna lie like even even she was like this is just over their head and i was like yeah some of them gonna get it some of them not but we have to train them we have to show them we have to model it for them we have to be able to give them something that's not so easy all right now my yellow center my yellow table i usually always do like a puzzle um i got these math puzzles which they love these they love these math puzzles and uh 
I don't want to take them out loud because I don't want them to look good. It's lazy, right? Okay, so we have like these math puzzles. Let me show them. Flip them over. And I just did these this summer. And they have the objects, the number words, tally marks, the actual number. They have different things on them. And you have to uh, put them together. So like all 18 will go together. All 20 will go together. It's like the number words, tally marks, objects where they have to count. It's really good. They really like this. Okay. But... I found this puzzle, this uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex puzzle. They love this, and guess what? Not one group has put it together yet. And I'm not saying like, hey, they ain't put it together, nah. not like that. It's challenging. It, it works them. It keeps them busy, it keeps them moving. They work together doing it. Now I have some groups, I, I'm not gonna sugarcoat, I have some groups who I'm just like, why y'all fussing? Why y'all mad? Why y'all acting like this with each other? But for the most part, if it's challenging them and if it's engaging them and no group has put it together yet, then they're working. Now they got halfway there, but they ain't got it there yet. What's throwing them off? I know what's throwing them off. Because I had one little girl tell me. She was like, Miss Roberts, I can't find his other eye. Well, he only has one eye, boo. You're not going to find the other eye because the other eye isn't there. And then it's actual dinosaur shape. So it's not a square like what they're used to. They're used to like puzzles having straight edges and squares. This one doesn't. It's an actual dinosaur shape. And y'all probably thinking like, oh, that's so minute. That's no big deal. To a five and six year old, that blows their mind. Just seeing those different things and just being like, but a puzzle is supposed to look like X, Y, Z. No, it doesn't have to look like that. So, I'm really happy I found that puzzle. The only thing is, and y'all don't whoop me. Do not whoop me. But the only thing is, uh, we're supposed to be doing these themes in, in our thematic units and this is uh, of course it's Black History Month Of course it's Black History Month, but also it's a uh, Valentine's Day and it's like community helpers and something else There's quite a few things regardless of, of that my thing my my centers are not all themed <laughs> And I really want them all themed. And I just, like for this puzzle scene, I should have had like a Black History puzzle or a Valentine's puzzle, whatever the theme is for this week. This is actually, we're doing uh, Valentine's stuff since it's leading up to Valentine's Day. And we're doing Black History stuff throughout the month. So, we got different focal points. Then, uh, after Valentine's Day, we're going to start with community helpers and stuff like that. So, I'm, my, the point I'm making is... <sighs> My centers, okay, my centers are hitting skills. They are meeting the requirements as far as um, the components we need. Like we need a construction center, we need a woodwork center, we need like a cooking center, we need a, and that's my kitchen set over there, if y'all can see it. Right there. Right there, that's my kitchen set. Okay, so I have everything to meet those needs. But they're not necessarily thematic. Because the construction center, which a puzzle is considered the construction center. Uh, yeah, my puzzle doesn't have anything to do with Black History Month at this point. But it's a construction center. Um, then, like, my woodwork center, but with the sight wire sticks, I, I should have done, like, um... I don't know, print it on pink paper, print it on red paper. Like they just, they they want it themed. And so I'm really, I'm really working on it. I'm really trying. I keep looking back at the door cause it's 9.54 and my kids come back at 10 o'clock. So, but I was really happy. I went and got the Fruit Loops. I feel really accomplished. Like I went and got the Fruit Loops, which I should have did last night. And I just totally forgot about that last night because I went and got, I went home, then went back out to get some gas and just, Completely forgot about the Fruit Loops. And I was like, I'm not getting back out because it's freezing cold. But, uh, I feel really accomplished. Then I made dinner last night. And I had enough for lunch today. What? I just feel really good about myself right now. All my centers are done. 
but they're not themed. That's the only thing that's really bothering me, seriously. The really only thing that's really bothering me is that thing. But I keep remembering, we went to a, a, a workshop, and I love the lady who did the workshop. And she just basically said, because ch they're changing the way kindergarten is taught. It's not just, it, it, let's just, if you teach kindergarten, you know kindergarten is not like when we were in kindergarten. This is not coloring and, and, and gluing and cutting and paste no this is the new first grade okay let's just be honest this is the new first grade like at this point our kids the bulk of our kids are reading i don't think i started reading until i was like first or second grade like like for real reading now honestly they're cvc words they're small words but their words like sight they're sight wireless they're high frequency wireless all those they should be just spitting them out like they're pushing us so you know, I'm trying to keep up. Who wants to be that teacher that's not producing when they say, you know, this is what you need to be doing? So I want to be able to give my students what they need. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. the camera keep moving. I want to be able to give my students what they need, what they deserve, the best me that I can give them. And so I am going to do it. I am, I am. I, I'm totally going to do it. Anyway, I got all off on a tangent. What I was saying was I went to a workshop training and a lady was saying that, uh, you can't eat an elephant at one time. What we're dealing with is an enormous elephant. You can't eat it in one sitting. You eat a little bit here, you eat a little bit there. And when you eat it up, everything will be all done. But you cannot eat an elephant at one time. If that makes sense to y'all, because that made perfect sense to me. Because I'm thinking, I gotta go change my classroom around. Like, I'm already doing centers, but I need to have XYZ amount of centers. Or I'm already doing centers, but they're not all in my themes. Or I am doing centers, but they're not all the components that they want, because there's nine components. I can't recall them, but it's like construction, uh, woodwork, um, kinesthetic, it, it, different components. So I'm gonna have to find it and I'll come back with you on it. But it's different components that they want for the centers to, to go by. And I'm just kind of like, I don't have this stuff. I, I, what am I gonna do? You know, and you, you start, your wheels start turning and then you think about this elaborate stuff that you can do. And the lady was just kind of like, we're talking about wood, y'all. We're talking about kindergarten. Or like the wooden sticks, they're made of wood. Like the popsicle sticks. And I was like, oh yeah. Okay, well, what about clothespins? They're made of wood. Oh, yeah. So, like stuff, like, kind of like stuff that I didn't even know I was doing, I was doing because we have a, a clothespin center. I don't even know where it is right now. I think I put it up because it's, it's a lot of, oh, here it is. These are the clothespins and they have alphabets on them and they have to clip the capital to the lowercase or the capital to capital depending on their level on a sentence strip. And she was like, y'all are doing it. You just have to realize what you're doing and you have to put it into the lesson plans. You have to put it into action. You have to put some put some oomph behind what you're already doing. And so, you know, I'm currently nibbling at my elephant i'm not saying that the thing is 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 ready to go i'm not even nibbling let me let me back up i'm still seasoning my elephant i'm still prepping it for for the for the cooking and i don't know it's so much fun kindergarten is a lot of fun it's a lot of work but kindergarten is a lot of fun i love it i wouldn't change it i taught second grade one year i like second grade too um, but I just really like kindergarten. Anyway, my kids are about to come back, so I will check back with y'all later, probably after school or whenever. All right. Hello. We are currently on the way home. It's like a quarter to five. I think I left work at like four o'clock, and it does take about 30 just depends on how I traffic, but at least 30 minutes to get home. Um, and we don't even live that far, but how we come home is we take the back roads just because it's a little more laid back than the highway and it's just easier. The scenery is much better. So, I mean, it's country <laughs> scenery, but I don't have to worry with the, uh, with all the cars and stuff on the interstate or the highway. And it's around this time it's packed on the highway. Like that five o'clock traffic. Between four and five o'clock, that traffic is 
is a monster. It's, it's, it's a monster. So anyway, I think I'm going to just go in and I'm going to try to start pulling stuff for next week. Because next week, we have our letters training part two. Which I'm actually kind of excited about because uh, I get to go with my whole team this time. Last time, I went one date, then another teacher went on another date, another teacher went on another date. But this time, we all get to go together. So I'm really happy about that. Anyway, we just pulled in. So I'm going to get all this stuff out. I have so much stuff to get out. I don't even think I'm going to get everything out. I think I'm going to just like get my purse out. And that's it. So, anyway, I'll probably check back in to see what kind of um, resources I'm finding. And then I'll get back with y'all. Good morning. It is such a gloomy day. And we have like a, a training today. And it is just so blah, 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 blah. It's like, look at the rain. Well, it's not raining anymore. But the streets and stuff are... Yes, it is. I can still see it coming down a little bit. But, uh... Everything is just so gloomy. I even feel gloomy. Like, I'm not awake or anything. Like, I don't know what's going on with my hair. Like, usually when I just wash it and wear it, I don't even know if y'all can see it that well. It, it just, I don't know. It just, it's gloomy too. Then my makeup gloomy. I don't know. Then we had a training and we were supposed to bring, um, our workbooks which I, I don't even know how I, I forgot mine I don't even know how I forgot it because I have workbooks I have my workbooks and I use my workbooks and I just forgot it but I did bring um like you have to do so many modules before you can um come to each training and I did bring my completion uh certificates in and I completed my modules and so I just share with one of my teammates with the books hopefully we won't need well I mean if we need them it is what it is I just write it down but um, you know, either way it go. It is what it is. So, it is 7.59. The train, well, 7.58 by my final, but I was looking at the car clock at 7.59. Training don't start till 8 or 8.30. And then last time, a lot of people were late, and it's the weather, too, so they probably gonna, um, extend the time. We didn't get started till, like, 9 o'clock. But even though, like, I have late trainings like this, I don't, like, staying in the bed later or uh maybe maybe like 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes but not too much later because i still like to get my son to school at his regular time just to keep him in his routine and then um i, I, I just feel better when i'm still on schedule so i've been waiting for about 15 minutes because i actually got here early to know what i thought i was gonna get here because i didn't take the interstate i ended up just going like through downtown i got to sneeze Ended up just going through downtown and um like taking the the city route because it is raining and it's usually like so hectic, so so hectic, and so um I didn't want to I didn't want to go through all it this morning with this rain and it's it they already be busy. It's like a real busy area, and I'm just a little old country girl like you know <laughs> the big city scares me. Nah, the big city don't scare me, but. I picked my battles and I didn't want to fight that traffic this morning. So anyway, I'm going to get ready to go on in because it's not raining now and I don't want to go in while it's raining uh, or it's really light, fine rain. It's really light. And so I want to go ahead and go in so I don't get super soaked and super wet. So I'll talk to y'all when I get inside. I'm going to try to film a little bit. I'll talk to y'all when I get inside. Bye. Good morning. Okay. So I'm just coming in my classroom and some of my kids brought snacks today because kindergarten eats snacks. And so, and we also eat snacks because we have started doing extended school day. Good morning. And so um, the kids don't get home until, well we get out of school at 3.15 now. But the kids don't get home until much later. And so we give them a snack. So we ran up on all our snacks. The real. 